Hello, and welcome to a very special confectionery quickie quarantine kitchen. Say that five times fast. Uh, today we are going to be making caramels. It should be a quick in and out uh, recipe. It's very straightforward. So uh, I'm gonna throw up all the ingredients on the board for you, so I'll get home. The first thing for us to do is to take the first four ingredients and just toss them in a pot. Um, we're taking some sugar. Actually, this is a, just got done watching Sweet Tooth, which uh, interesting Netflix show about a kid and, uh, but anyways. The crux of it is he's got a sweet tooth. So I think the caramels are fitting. So really, uh, you take uh, the two cups of sugar, the uh, two cups of caramel, which come perfectly portioned, and just pour everything into uh, the pan. And then we'll put our salt and our butter in too. Speaking of TV shows, uh, you may be wondering, where I got this recipe from. Well, I went out to go visit my friends Cassie and RJ uh, over the past weekend, and they were watching a show called Sister Wives. And uh, it's reality TV at its finest. I, I don't quite get it, but it's uh, about a very a fundamentalist Mormon family of three or four wives and uh, a bunch of their children. Anywho, I don't know how anyone could watch it, but five episodes in, I've got an unhealthy uh, obsession with a house storyline, and they put up a recipe for these caramels, and it looked great. So, at least some. So, we've got our unhealthy pot of sugar and fat uh, here on the stove. We're gonna bring it to a light, light boil and stirring it so that nothing burns. Uh, once we get to that part, then we'll be adding in some of the evaporated milk slowly. Don't uh, stop the boil from happening. And as it heats up and you, know, you, you cut up the butter a little bit, uh, the ingredients really start to get to know each other and it turns uh, kind of that butter yellow. So keep an eye on it, don't let it get too hot. And uh, right as soon as we get this to a boil, we'll add the evaporator. We just hit a rolling boil, which is making me doubt the size of this pot I'm using, because it is really trying to, to, to boil over. So to keep the, uh, well, to keep the down a little bit and continue our recipe, we're going to pop open the evaporated milk and start adding slowly uh, while keeping this bubbling going. Oh wow, this is going to make a giant mess. Put this at home, use a bigger pot. And again, you're doing this slowly so that the, uh, the boil continues while you stir. All right, got out of that. Once you've added all the evaporated milk, uh, you want to remove it from heat and the potential to boil over even more and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And, more. and then just at that, oh yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. Uh, make sure that that gets folded in and then we're going to put this into, I'm going to use a buttered pan, but you can also use a, a flat tray with uh, parchment. So as I mentioned, I've got my uh, buttered up, uh, it's actually a Pyrex pie plate, but it, it should do the job. I guarantee you I'm going to make a mess doing this as well, but just pour it in there. Actually, I didn't think it would after my uh, my fun with the, the undersized pot here. 
But yeah, that, that fits perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is pop a little saran wrap on this, throw it in the fridge for a while so it can, it can stiffen up, and then we'll take a look at it and see how it tastes. In the meantime, I've got a huge mess to clean up. Twenty-four hours later. We've let it firm up overnight, so let's see how she looks. Oh yeah, that's got a nice caramel color, and it uh, looks ready to go. Now, some of my uh, more observant followers might notice that this is no longer in a pie uh, plate, and uh, it is a much darker color. That's because I got up really early this morning when I realized that I probably did not let it simmer enough. So I spent about an hour going over and reheating this entire thing, a little bit more butter and some vanilla extract to try and keep the uh, flavor. Let's cut off a piece. Bit firmer than uh, I think it should be. We might be in the uh, Werther's toffee <clears throat> consistency here. I overfirmed it. Mm. It did keep the uh, vanilla flavor and the and the butter. I'm glad I added that at the end. These are definitely going to be mm. very cheap, and it will last me a long time. Now that I'm done chewing, uh, I can reflect on what went wrong. On the first time around, I think that small pot really uh, backed me into a corner. I was too worried with stopping the overflow than from actually cooking everything through as it should. On the second try this morning, I way overcorrected, uh, sitting there for an hour, just turning it and trying to get it to uh, caramelize a little bit better. So, still a fun time. It definitely goes to show that no good can come from watching reality. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.